So if you feel like you tried everything to get your GMC to be approved but nothing is working, you're just getting hit by the Google misrepresentation left and right, then you're in the right video because I spent like probably the past year trying to figure a way out to consistently get my GMC to be approved and right now at the moment, I I actually have 13 approved GMCs all on different websites so I have a kind of vast knowledge of what I have to do in order to overcome this so in this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking about my trivial ways in order to actually get your GMCs to be approved the second one is personally my favorite and without any further ado, let's get into the video so the first method to actually get a GMC to be approved is what I call the spray and pray method, alright? So it sounds really funny. So how Google works is basically, you know, if you, if you, so, so it's, it's kind of random, right? With the GMC's band, you know, you, you can have the same product, you can have the same exact store. And if you launch uh, actually 10 of these stores onto a different uh, email for, and you create one Google Merchant Center for all 10 of these stores, you'll find that eventually one of them is gonna just get approved by luck or like accident. So Point thing is, if you launch like a bunch of products, right, they could be like different products or they could even be like same products on like multiple Shopify stores. Eventually, something is just gonna work just because um, that's just how um, Google is. And the other thing that I also wanna mention is because you're gonna make sure that your policies are in alignment, which means like your refund policy. And one thing that's very important, which causes a lot of like GMC's uh, misrepresentation is making sure your shipping times that you actually have set inside your you know, Google Merchant Center is in align with your shipping page as well. So you gotta make sure that your refunds policies, everything looks clear and uh, concise. And if you feel like, okay, you know what, you don't really know what, like, what is actually the right, um, you know, the 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 right uh policy, you just have to, um, you know, contact the Google um Google Merchant Center support. You just keep like bugging them and ask them, and basically ask them to actually raise like a like a do like a manual review on your website. To see if like there's anything wrong or like anything you can actually fix in order to get your GMCs to be approved, all right. So one thing that I actually want to mention that um a lot of people don't actually seem to understand is when it comes to getting your GMCs to be approved, right? Realistically, you only need probably anywhere from like three to five approved GMCs, and you can be basically testing like a bunch of products. So with one approved GMCs, right? The the really cool thing with it is you can actually swap out the domain. Meaning if every single, meaning if you have one GMC that's already like working well for you, you're using it to run like a current, um, you know, like an existing domain, um, you're making money with it, that's great. And if the store stops working, you can basically switch that GMC domain into like a completely different domain and you'll still get approved within the like, hours. So this is like a little, um, I would say like a little tip, a little hack that most people don't know. So if you have like one approved at GMC, honestly, you can like test a lot of products. And assuming if you're launching like a one product store to like Google, Say the account, you know, you, um, you're testing this one, one product, you have like one approved GMC and then the product stops working for whatever reason, right? Or it just doesn't sell at all. You could literally use the same GMC, swap out like a domain and use like a different um, domain and it's still gonna get approved within like, uh, it's gonna get approved within hours. I swear to God, I hope like Google doesn't see this and they're like, oh my God, this guy is actually circumventing the platform and they just change this out. Oh, that would be really, really heartbreaking if that actually happened. So I hope no Google team is like <laughs> watching this video. But that is like, one of the ways that I'm actually doing to um, you know, overcome the, 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 the issues with like getting a GMC to be approved. The second thing, which is also personally my favorite when it comes to getting your GMC to be approved, it's just basically outsourcing to someone who's already an expert in uh, getting a GMC to be approved. Because being very honest, right, personally for me, this is not something that I really want to spend like two to three hours a day just like trying to crack my head, figuring out how to get it to be approved. You can easily get it to, you can easily outsource to someone on Fiverr for like 70 bucks and they can basically like help you to get your GMC to be approved. You just need to send them access to your Shopify store, send them access to your GMC account and then they will have like their own methods of like getting it to be approved. The only downside of this method is that most people that you actually, you know, try to hire on like Fiverr or even on Upwork, it's not gonna be like very, it's not gonna be guaranteed because like a lot of times, right, they are, uh, I'm just gonna say it, right, they are, it's just not gonna work out. Maybe like one out of like 10 sellers that you meet, or even like one out of eight, somewhere around there, it's gonna be like a genuine guy that actually understands how the game works, that can actually help you get maybe 70 to 80% of the stores to be approved. So right now at the moment, the current guy that I'm working with, um, he has a success rate of like 80%, I would say like 75 to 80%, meaning like most of the stores that we kind of like work through with him, he's able to get it to be approved. If not, he's gonna give me a refund. But sometimes it can take anywhere from like one up to even like two months. So it's kind of like a long process. But eventually once you collect these GMCs, they become like a working asset. So regardless, 
you can still use it for like other stores so i don't really mind because it's like a long-term asset the way i see it all right so this is the second method which is also possibly my favorite the third method which is a method that i actually haven't tested out for myself but i thought it could actually be one that is viable which is to buy verified and approved GMCs from other people whom are already, um, you know, who have already been using it for like a long time. So with this method, right, from what I see, right, it's, I can understand, I can see it working because it actually makes sense because with GMCs, how it works is you have one to be approved, you can easily like swap out a domain and the new store is still gonna get approved. So if you buy like a verified GMC, it's probably still gonna, you know, work out the same way. And actually I spoke with some guy in, within my uh, Telegram group and he told me that he was actually selling like verified GMCs for like $300 a pop. So I thought like, you know what, $300 to $400, it's, um, it sounds pretty reasonable considering you don't have to actually go and put in the effort to get your GMCs to be approved. So these are basically the three methods that you can use right now to get your GMCs to be approved. And I hope it actually, um, you know, uh, makes sense for you. And if you actually did learn something from this video, please leave a like and let me know if you're down if you have any like questions down in the comment box below. And also if you want to work with me one to one and if you want to get access to like my network of um you know of like contacts that can help you get a gmc to be approved then we can or get like a agency ad account to like spend unlimited ad account <laughs> i spend unlimited money and uh, have like a ton of like rebates and stuff basically you want to learn from me like the strategies to, to generate like six and seven figures on like google shopping ads um you know i'll fill in the uh, the the survey form below and uh, if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.